Hey guys, it's Doing W and it's after work. So that means we can start cooking. Haha. <laughs> so this is going to be cooking with Sterling. So this is going to be interesting. Uh, first time doing this. And of course, it's after work, I put on my apron and I set my work clothes on. But it should be pretty cool. Today, we have a pretty awesome thing. I got myself some Wagyu steak. Now, this is actually American Wagyu, which is pretty interesting. Got this at Costco, and it was about $9.99 a pound, which is about 10 bucks a pound. But look at that marbling. So what we're going to do is go prep it today. And usually I get ribeye and stuff, but this is pretty good. But recently I've been just buying chuck steak and making awesome steaks with chuck steak. So I'll show you how later. Uh, but this is a video just to pack this. Uh, I want to make sure it's good. So you're going to explore this with me. Okay guys, so this is basically four pounds of American Wagyu chuck steak. Chuck steak meaning it's on the shoulder of um, the cow that we're eating. So this is pretty cool. The fact that it's chuck steak, you have muscles going in different directions. So what I usually do is either I cook the whole thing as it is, do a sous vide and cook this thing slowly and basically grill it. Or I basically take it apart into the sections of which way the steak is going. And this is a, almost a three inch thick uh, piece of meat here. So it will make for an awesome steak. Super juicy because of all the marbling and fat that's included into this thing. Um, I usually check and try to find which direction these things are going, the muscles. So if it's too strange of a direction, I usually take them out. In other words, I cut, make the steak into something that's... Uh, one direction of, of the meat so that way it cooks easier and you know if especially you're grilling and if you're cutting it the you cut it against the grain which makes it a lot more tender so I'm gonna go ahead and split this into probably three steaks because it's so huge this is a, like I said four pounds each of the steaks are gonna be about a pound or a little bit more than a pound so it'll be perfect for two people um, to eat after I grill it and I can always split it in half uh, but yeah it's Pretty awesome. Now what I'm doing is I'm just basically cutting the fat out. And I'm the fat, I'm going to go ahead and save because I'm going to use that for stews and to um, for flavor for for like base and stuff for soup. So this piece is actually pretty much done. I'm going to go ahead and clean up a little bit more. But yeah, that that's one big steak. That's easily a pound. And it's about two and a half inches tall and, you know, pretty, pretty long. It's probably around seven inches long. Now this is nice too. Now I can see that there's a different um, direction of uh, muscle here. And this muscle has no less fat. So I'm just going to trim it off. And this part, I, I'm not a butcher, but at the same time, I know this is a little bit different muscle. There's almost very little fat there. So um, I'm going to probably take that off. Now making it into a chuck steak is awesome too, because the different directions, different textures is actually really good. Um, so this one, I'm going to cut along the fat. So I can split it and I'm going to take out some of the sinews as well because then you know make for eating it easier. And usually you cook it with the fat so that you could, you know, grow the sides or or basically keep the moisture in. So I like shearing it on um, on a pan uh, for each of the sides and then and then um, basically cooking it for a few minutes a piece. So this is another piece that has really good marbling, but it's on the inside, but it's a different direction. So this one too, I'm going to go ahead and use that as a steak. So like I said, we're going to make about three steaks here uh, out of that, the, the two major ones. So these two are done. There's a third one there. These are the small pieces that are going in different directions. And I'm going to use this to do a taste test for my noodles right now. So I'm going to cut really thin slice. Now this is still just came out of the refrigerator. It's not frozen. So you have to use a super sharp blade in order to cut, you know, this thin. So it's roughly around a eighth of an inch or a little less. I'm trying to cut it even thinner. I like to use a utility knife, a five inch utility knife, because it's extremely sharp. I basically sharpen this thing up um, and I don't like using a thicker knife. A bigger, larger knife, you could do it, but you know, I, I found this utility knife is actually pretty cool in terms of a, a, seven, a five inch uh, regular kitchen knife. Anyways, as you can see, there's good striations there. There's good fat content. Uh, and it just looks good. This is and this is one of the not so good pieces. So if I use a bigger blade, it's kind of hard to control in terms of that. So this is also very sharp too. So it, it does cut it, but I prefer like a thinner blade so it doesn't the meat doesn't stick to the blade. 
So I'm gonna finish cutting this one, and then I'm gonna take the other piece, this that's much bigger and has even more beautiful patterns on it. But this is of course not as good as a pattern as the steak that we just you know we put in the thing, into the bags. Now this one's kind of nice too. I'm gonna to go ahead and cut off the excess fat on the front, uh, but I'm just gonna cut a bit against. The, this is all against the grain. Always cut against the grain so it, there's not that much. Um, so it's much more tender. By against the grain, I mean perpendicular to um, the pattern of the grain pattern. So perpendicular to the lines. So. I'm going to go ahead and cut it across. As you can see, beautiful, beautiful marbling. Um, you know what? Let's take one of these pieces out and show you. So, beautiful marbling throughout. So when you cook this, it's going to be nice and soft. Even, heck, not even cook. I'm just going to wave this around in soup, and then it's going to be cooked. And it'll be kind of like, um, it'll be kind of like medium rare prime rib. You know, so I actually like doing it that way because I don't like eating a lot of meat at once because it's heavy. In fact, I actually don't like eating, um, Japanese Wagyu is nice, I've tried it, but it's so buttery, it's velvety soft, but it's also a lot of fat. So I prefer something like this that has fat as well as meat so that it cooks really tender and soft. Uh, usually, like I said, I usually get ribeye or steaks that have a lot of fat kind of like this that's uh, marbled in so that you, it's it cooks a lot the fat goes in the meat as it cooks and doesn't get dried out or anything else like that. But either way, you still sear it and you still cook it the same, very similar way. But this is nice because you can actually cut it really thin and have it for shabu shabu or something else like that. Typically in shabu shabu, they they have pieces of a lot of fat. I really don't care for that because it makes the soup of shabu shabu um, this convoluted of a lot of fat and oil. Um, but yeah, this is perfect. Just enough fat, just enough meat. Uh, mix right in marbling. It will cook very well in shabu shabu or inside a bowl of noodles or heck, just you know, very fast, light, light grill, and it's gonna be great. Uh, you don't want to overcook the stuff, but either way, I don't think this is gonna be very, very. Um, it's not your typical chuck steak. This is wagyu chuck, which is you know, a lot more beautiful, beautiful marbling. Um, like I said. Normally, if I get chuck, I try to get as much uh, marbling as I can, you know, especially the non-Wagyu one, but this Wagyu one is so good. Now, I put it in Ziploc bags, I sucked out, pushed out most of the air uh, so that it doesn't oxidize as much, and I'm going to go ahead and put, you know, these freezer bags and meat inside the freezer so I could eat it, you know, it's probably in the next couple of weeks because I usually don't eat that much red meat at once, unless it's like for a special occasion or something else like that. So here it is, this is about roughly, I think half a pound. And I just have my soup right here. And all you do is just put hot soup on top of it and it's pretty much cooked. And, you know, um, and yeah, that looks really good, really soft, super tender. So yeah, basically this is very, very good beef. I mean, like USDA Prime, this is really, really nice. And if you think of the look at it, but all you need to do is just heat it up just enough because the fat and stuff makes it really tender. The striation of fat, and these are even not even the best cuts. Yeah, this is one of the best parts. I say the best part for steaks. This with all the striated fat, this chuck steak has a lot of flavor super super tender the best thing for chuck is to cut your super thin it is so tender you don't want to overcook it you just want to nice and cook so that's like prime prime rib rare good stuff hey guys thanks for watching i hope you found this video useful and of course please follow and leave some comments below if you tried the wagyu steak at costco Thanks for watching guys, bye.